Hi, my name is Bjergsen from Team Solo Mid. This is my basic champion's guide to Kindred Mid. Kindred is actually pretty good in solo queue because you can get an early lead and you can snowball from it. Uh, the only real problem is you need to make sure you have some kind of magic damage in your team or your team is just not going to end up doing any damage later in the game if they stack armor. Uh, so generally if you pick uh, Kindred early, ask if someone else can get some magic damage or pick her later because it is very rough if you have no magic damage on your team. With that being said though, she has a really strong laning phase with sustain in her W that allows her to win pretty much every lane and good pushing power. And you just need to make sure you use your passive correctly and get the stacks, killing mostly scuttle crap and getting stacks from kills. Kinder's laning phase is really strong, starting from pretty much, well, level 1. She has pretty decent trades with Doran's Blade and sustain with W starting at level 2. And she just plays lane really well. You can push and farm really effectively. The biggest thing is always moving around to make sure you get your W sustain as much as possible because it only procs when you're moving. So just continue to always walk around in lane to get sustain, much like Yasuo will always walk around to get his shield. Uh, other than that, just know when to when your Q is going to hit the champion rather than the minions is the hardest thing because it goes for the three nearest minions. For Kinder's team fight, she plays just like any other AD carry. In my opinion, you drop down the W and you just burn through the nearest target as fast as possible. If someone is out of position, you can go for kind of like an assassination play since she does have a lot of damage and burst, but that's very situational and generally you want to be playing her like any other AD carry, doing as much damage as possible to the nearest target. Good tips on Kindred how to use your passive is at level 1 always mark your opponent laner because he's the one you're most likely going to get a kill on and it takes about I believe it's 6 to 8 seconds to actually proc the passive so if you're roaming to any other lane you can mark that lane as you're roaming up. Uh, sometimes it's going to be obvious and they're going to back off because they get the mark but a lot of times people aren't going to expect it because you are a mid laner and they don't think they're, you're going to come up and yank them so constantly look out for the stacks and constantly look out for who you think you're going to kill next throughout the game. I think that's very important. For runes on Kindred, I like to run AD reds, HP scaling yellows, MR blues and attack speed quints. Generally, I just run MR blues because there aren't really a better option and it helps with early game trades. And AD reds attack speed quints are a very standard AD carry page, which also translates into the mid lane. I run 18-0-12 masteries on Kindred. Uh, 18 in ferocity to get the fervor battle which keeps stacked by using your Q a lot in lane, just increases your damage by a lot. Other than that, pretty much just get attack speed and as much damage as you can in the off tree. Um, for the 12, I like to go resolve because going 12 in cunning just makes you really, really squishy and having that 12 in resolve allows you to trade really aggressively. And also with the reduced summoner spell cooldown, it allows you to trade summoner spells early on like flash and then you have about a 30 second window to abuse their flash being down and try to make a play. For a kinder skill order, always go Q at level 1, W at level 2, and at level 3, you can go either E if you're looking to set up a gank or another level in Q. For maxing, I always go Q, W, E, and getting alt whenever possible, of course. For the item build on Kindred, in the new patch, I like to go for the double attack speed crit items, which is Shiv and the hand cannon. It makes you really mobile, tons of attack speed and a lot of crit chance, and it gives you that. Uh, long range like super auto proc with Shig and the fire cannon. After one of those items you, you get attack speed boots, berserker screws, and then infinity edge for damage. After that you can go pretty much any other offensive or defensive item depending on the game. Thank you for watching this basic guide to kindred mid. Uh, make sure to check out more content at lolclass.com. The wall is slightly shorter on the right, they're always going to walk to the right unless they change the course of the champion. So a lot of people don't instantly change the way they're walking so you can often wall and lead with a Q instantly knowing that they're gonna walk that way. 